it's Majam here and welcome to this new speed build on The Sims 4. So the house I'm building today is actually a house that's mostly inspired from the houses I've seen when I was growing up. Because if you don't know, I grew up in the countryside of France and that was a place where there were and still is a lot of agriculture. So there was a lot of old and new farms and some of those old farms uh, those old buildings were turned into houses and those buildings were so huge and long that sometimes you could just build two to three houses in just one building. And those buildings, the particular thing they have is that they are really really long buildings and each room inside this build is followed by another one and so on and so forth. So that's what I tried to recreate with this house. So right now I'm working on the exterior of the house and I really wanted to show that it was an old house. And first I was actually thinking of doing something really modern inside. But because it's been a little while since I wanted to build something like that, with an old field from the inside and the outside, I decided not to go for something uh, modern inside, but maybe I can do a renovation of this house and do something really modern inside just to contrast with the exterior really old of this house. So yeah, I played with the roofing so that the house would look old and I tried to go for that long feel but not too long as well because I don't really like big and huge houses in The Sims 4 because it's really hard to play in it. So I think in this house you can easily play. There's actually three bedrooms so you can easily have a lot of children and you, you will see that fairly soon the bedrooms are quite big except one and this one is actually the master bedroom if we can say this this way but yeah anyway uh, so I went for something quite old for the exterior and of course I took my inspiration from the houses I've seen and in France we called we call those houses longères basically that means that the house is really long basically that's it there's the long term in this in this word and yeah, also for all the greeneries outside, I tried to use greeneries that I've seen as well where I grew up. And this build made me feel a little bit nostalgic and I was actually imagining a family celebrating Christmas and Halloween and spending some time here. And when I was building this house, I actually installed the... Uh, autumn mod because it took me a few days to build this house because I didn't have that much free time right now so I started the house and then I went went back to it so, so to finish the build basically and between this two time where I recorded this build I've installed the autumn mod so you will not see that I just forgotten to take it off when I went back to build the house so I just quit the game took off the autumn mod and then went back so that it wouldn't look weird in the video. Um, but I've installed the autumn mod and that was so weird and cool to see all the trees with the autumn color in with them, you know, with the leaves red and yellow. And that was really beautiful and that was what I was actually imagining for this house. With, you know, that old feel, that family feel. And I was actually imagining as well that this house was maybe um, an heirloom for a family. Maybe this was a house where a family came, started to live in, and they had children and some children kept the house into the family and so on and so on and so on. And that was what I was imagining for this house. So most of the furnitures I will be using are pretty old, or at least that's what I wanted to show in this house. Except for the bedrooms, especially for the children bedrooms. I, I want I went for something more modern because of course when you're a child you want to personalize your own bedroom. It's your space, it's where you live, where you sleep, where you do all your thing. So yeah, those bedrooms, those rooms are actually the more modern of the house. And when I did the exterior, which I'm working on right now, I was really imagining the family, you know, some kind of a family reunion. Maybe people can come here and have a barbecue. This is something that we do a lot where I grew up and I suppose this is something that everybody does everywhere. But that's something that I never really knew because... M well, I don't want to go into detail, but I my family, it's a bit weird. 
Uh, we're not really that close and we never really did that kind of thing, but my boyfriend's family do that kind of thing all the time. And that was actually really weird to see a family that's so close that they like to see each other. Uh, I just don't want to go into detail with my family because it's a little bit of a sad story, but anyway. So here you've seen all the separations between the rooms because, as I said, those houses are really, really long and they are, as I said, each room is followed by another one. So there's the living room, the kitchen and the dining room and each room is really separated and has its own feel. So right now I'm working on placing all the tails everywhere and you will see that right now actually I've placed the same tails, tiles, sorry, ev in every rooms in the first level because this is something that you see in those old houses. They are made with those kind of bricks uh, ground thing and that was how it was before and except if you renovate the house you are going to keep those red bricks on the, on the on the ground, on the floor. And I've put that bricks everywhere because this is what I've seen and that gave this old feel of the house and yeah, I just really liked it. So now I'm starting to furnish the living room space and there's going to be no TV, no electronic stuff in this house just because I was really going with that granny old feel with this house. I was really imagining a grandmother living here and having her grandchildren come, come over and maybe maybe she's living with one of her children. Maybe. I don't know. So yeah, most of the furnitures are looking quite old and this... I don't know, this has a really family feel, I think. And I suppose in this room... So yeah, because here I didn't really know what to place. I've placed this uh, table game, card table game. And I was imagining the family coming and playing here, but I was also imagining the family placing a Christmas tree in that place where there's the armchair over here. And just placing the the Christmas tree and have a nice Christmas fest or something in that room and maybe putting this play card play game table into into the attic just to give some rooms into this room. And also for the lightning, I went also for something quite old and I tried to have a little bit of light in the house, but not too much because there's not a lot of lights in those in those houses. So now I am working on the kitchen and as well for the kitchen, I went for something pretty old, but I was also imagining that maybe it had been renovated uh, a little while ago. And that was what I went for with the stove. For me, those stove are looking like they are from the 80s, I don't know why. And here I was struggling with that cupboard because I really wanted to place one there, but because there was this little room that I've made for the chimney, it wasn't working, so I've just made some something so that I could work. And yeah, I've had a lot of fun actually with the kitchen because usually I don't have that much fun with kitchens. They are all looking the same way, just because I'm not really that inspired with kitchen. I personally don't like cooking, so I don't really like spending time in the, in the kitchen. I don't feel that comfortable <laughs> into a kitchen, so yeah, I, I suppose this is why I'm not really that into working on the kitchen. But with this one, I had a lot of fun doing that. And I will be placing a little island in the middle, because I thought that this would look great. Uh, I haven't tested this house yet, but I suppose the sims can come... Uh, you know, go over the island to use all the items and go into the dining room, which we are starting to work on right now. And as well for the dining room, I went for something also really old and I was really imagining a family reunion as well. But I think this room is actually quite bad because it's a really, really big room and I didn't really know what to place so that it could seem full. I didn't really know what to place, so I've just placed some decorative items, but I was thinking that maybe they're not really going into this room, except when they are receiving some family in the house. So I didn't really spend that much time in this room, or I never, I didn't really try to furnish it as if the, that room was used that often. I'm more thinking that the family is spending more time in the kitchen and maybe in the in the living room and maybe they are into eating even though in the sims it's not possible maybe they are eating on the card table 
play game thumbs thing. I don't remember the name of this table actually. And here I've placed a little bathroom and actually this is the biggest bathroom of the house. And I was first going just to place a simple toilet, but then I realized that the bathroom upstairs is actually quite small for a family, or actually how I was imagining the family to be, because I was imagining a lot of children in this house, so if you have a lot of children, having at least two bathrooms is really, really useful. And that's why I'm right now placing a lot of children items, because yeah, this is, even though this is an old house, I was really thinking that children could come in here and play. And I've also placed a little bit of a little lake over here, I think is how we can call this. Maybe you're not supposed to go and swim in this, because it doesn't seem like it's really clean. Maybe the water is really dirty or something. But I thought this would really give this old feel of the house. And this is something that you can see where I grew up. There are some houses, there's those little water space, not that far from the house. And it's on the land of the house and of the persons who are living there. For me this is something quite fancy I think, but this is something that you can see a lot. And here is the little play space for the children. So I've placed a slide, but I've ne I didn't place a toddler bed, neither a high chair or a potty chair. There's just this slide, but I... I don't know, I'm kind of sad that only toddlers can use that slide. I would have liked to have children use it as well, or maybe to have something that children can use as a slide. And there's also something that I would like to see back in The Sims 4, it's the swings. I just loved that from The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, and I was kind of sad when I didn't see that back in The Sims 4. Because the monkey bars are funny, the pirate ship and the spaceship are funny, but I think some swings would be cool. So now I'm working on a little garden where maybe Granny is having some of her plants. And I just thought this was really cute. So I haven't placed any plants, uh, but I, I suppose you can do that on your own when you are downloading the house and you can work on, a, on your own garden. And at the end of the video, I will come back to the garden and just place in other greeneries because I was thinking that there was a corner which was looking really bad with the plants, so I just went back and added a few plants. So now we're moving on to the upstairs, and I didn't really know what to do with that, with that space, so I just made some kind of a little um, reading space, maybe, where the parents can read to their children before they go to bed. And here is the upstairs bathroom, and as you can see, even though it's a 3x3 bathroom, it's not that big, and if someone really has to use the bathrooms, maybe they could go out downstairs if the upstairs bathroom is is used. Now I'm working on the most uh, bedroom if I can say this this way because this is the smallest room in the house but this is also the only one who's not followed by another room so it's a little bit more private than the two other bedroom which are going to be the children bedroom children's bedroom sorry so it's a little bit small but maybe the parents are not spending that much time in this house because I was also thinking that this house needed a lot of TLC, I suppose I can use this word. Uh, this house needed to have some renovations done because it's an old house and maybe there's the roof that needs to be taken care of, maybe the garden as well because it's a pretty, pretty huge lot so maybe they have a lot to do outside of their bedroom and maybe they're just using their, be their bedroom to sleep. So now, as you can see, I'm working on one of the first children bedroom and I was able to place two beds and I was thinking that two children close in age were sharing this bedroom. Maybe one is closer to be a teenager and the other one is um, a new child, <laughs> in a way. And I tried to go for something a little bit more personal with, with each side of the room. And I didn't really separate the room, but because they are both into two separate spaces in a way, they had their privacy while sharing the same bedroom and I thought that was cool. And of course if you want to go into the last bedroom you have to go through this room so I suppose that could be really funny to play with. With some children maybe they would like to have some privacy, those children would like to have some privacy. But there's always their big sister or big brother coming through and <laughs> annoying them. And so now I'm working on the last bedroom and I was thinking that this bedroom was the bedroom of a teenager, soon to be a young adult, maybe this 
teenager will go to college or something. And this teenager is actually... This is actually their own bedroom. They're not sharing this bedroom with some someone else, another of their siblings. And they are the luckiest one because this is the huge bedroom of the house. So they have a little space to study. And I was also thinking that maybe this teenager would like to become an architect or something. I was thinking that this would have been cool and maybe they are really serious, but they also really like to party because they're young and they like to have fun with their friends. And I was actually thinking of a teenager, young girl teenager. That's why I went maybe for something quite girly in a way. But I suppose if you just remove some of the items, you can make this bedroom as a boy teenager bedroom. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the house. Uh, now I'm just going back to, as I said, retouch the garden. But if you, if you like this house and you would like to download it and play with it, I will put a link in the description for you to do so. Or you can also look for my origin ID, which is modjam11. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!